really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah. It just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> see? I told you it was fine. Not as fine as you think. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Death and Decay. Okay. Whatever you watch here. Martin Parr, Ron Arid, Movies and Methods, Fashion Design, Modern Women, lots of different stuff, I guess. Grandma! Oh, I can move it. Okay. Actually, wait, let me rotate it all the way around just in case. No, there's nothing. <laughs> I was thinking there might be something there. Our, our toothbrush and toothpaste we keep on top of the refrigerator because of reasons. Oh, there we go. Oh, and embalm. Look, temporary items do not take up space in your normal inventory. Directly printed. Okay. Embalm. Book about history of preservation and how people use it to cope with death. Okay. Interesting. Music band shirt. <laughs> Sport! The nicest people are dead. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, it's raining. It's very raining. I have a very small apartment. I assume somewhere in the other rooms we have like a bedroom. Oh gosh. <laughs> yes, it's October, so this is the update that they have, I guess. The uh, pumpkins out and everything. <laughs> this is right. good. I guess I'll head to the back and get started. This is wonderful. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. They are? Try to stay calm. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? It, look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. Far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left.
left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Ugh. Damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. I didn't see anyone outside. So that's weird. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. I didn't see anyone outside. That's weird. Yeah. Raymond, I know you said not to decorate for Halloween, but you need a little fun in your life. I did it anyway, and you're just going to have to deal with it. Zoe. I'm just going to leave it, because I like it. Okay. Um... Right, so... No. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, it's this. Duh! Okay. Oh, tape recorder is here. Hello? Okay. Uh, hall key. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. Who does something like this? I didn't see who was supposed to be outside. How do you know I'm here, weirdo? All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. <laughs> if this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh... Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. Hmm. This is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. The Night Shift Database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion. All of the tools used, I'm getting back and to most work. importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. Okay. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. The Book of Typhon, Conversation 6. Typhon walked among his disciples and he spoke, He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve those who truly believe, for all are assigned to the halls of hell. Abandon God as he has abandoned you, bring Lucifer into your hearts, and revel in his glorious sin, for all are damned. There is no hope for God, all are marked for the houses of hell, as all are hopelessly lost. You have been left behind. And as he passed, Onuran looked upon Typhon with disgust and said, I will not turn my eye from God. Satan has no dominion over the Lord's creation. Typhon looked unto Onuran and said, Pray as you wish. Fall to your knees at this moment and call to God. Perhaps today he will step down from the heavens and all doubt shall vanish. Pray to nothing and behold the truth. I will take from your God's creation the ashes of man, for it burns eternal in sinful fire. Uh, Typhon held the charred remains of Derad and walked among his disciples, spreading his ash upon their flesh. 
Setting the reeds in his hand ablaze, he said unto Oneron, See now that Allah marked in the glory of Satan. Oneron beheld a flash of light upon the skin of each disciple as Typhon passed, and from it he saw a mark burn deep into their flesh, one of three for the houses of hell, for we all are destined to serve his higher purpose. And Typhon extended the ashes of Derod to the hands of Oneron and said, Bear the forgotten flesh upon your own, ignite its sin, and accept the true God. Uh, alright, that's interesting. Uh, processes of possession. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Uh Oh, that means So, okay. So basically I'm being possessed by a demon and I need to figure out what it is and get rid of it so I can not die. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Okay. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture, anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Okay. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Okay. Whatever. Just grab a body. Forget it. Okay, fine. I wanted to go look on the things, but you say no. Keep track of things. Excuse me. Let's see, there are three bodies. Oh, there's more than three. Oh, it's empty. It's empty. Okay, so there is just three of them. Okay. Lavern Henry. Alright, Mr. Henry. Oh, I need the gurney. <laughs> Forgot. I need the gurney. It's important for the things we do. Wee. Criminal building. Fuck me in here. Scared the shit out of me. Oh, did he lock you in? Is that what happened? Oh, okay, so he was outside. He's the one that locked us in. Because we're becoming possessed by a demon. 
and if we don't get rid of it, then it'll be bad for us. There, that's what I wanted. Okay, so his eyes are closed. No, they are actually slight- no, so yeah, just slightly open. They are slightly open. Alright, let's check you out. Uh, right, so I have to write down the- th the- I have to check the things. Uh, I don't see anything here. Alright. Excuse me? Hello? Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Okay. How long I went to school? You go. Sir, are you smiling? Are you happy about this? I'm getting back to work. So stupid. Uh, nothing here. Foot. Ah. See, there's stink lines off of it. It's weird. I mean, I know it's a dead body, so they, they stink, but, y you know, still. here. There we go. Okay. I guess that's everything. Uh, record system. That's his name. That's his age. He has a head. Uh, carotolite. I don't know what carotolysis is. I'm kind of curious. Uh, blemishes on leg. Oh, it's the wrong leg. <laughs> uh, is that everything? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's everything. file the copy up front. Okay. Wait, I needed the password, right? And he said that was in his personal belongings or something? Something, something, something. Time to okay, Where was that password? That's probably important for things. Uh. Okay, so I can actually leave. I can walk out of here.
Oh, I can get in the car. Don't know why, but I can. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just confused as to like where he said that there was a password, right? In in a thing in a place. These are something. Uh, right. Oh, that's something too. Okay. Hmm. Large old key. Okay. Oh, it's my work badge. Rebecca Raymond asked me to take our restocking the rest of the supplies in the bombing room, but he's so secret I feel like I get different instructions every day. Sorry if that's not what you're used to, Zoe. Could you please ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low and you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. Uh, okay. Maybe that's what that big old key is for. Uh, I thought he said there was a personal drawer with stuff? And that, that was this, that thing. So how do I get into here? 